I am Satosh Gaidankar. Today I am solving the problem of dynamic soft machine. In the dynamic soft machine, static force equilibrium. This is the question for the static equilibrium of mechanism as shown in the figure. This is the figure they are given it. Find the required input torque. We have to find out the torque here. What is the torque? We have to going to find out the link two is link one, link two, link three, link four, link five, and this one is link six. Link six. Now the dimensions are given: AD two hundred mm, AB sixty, BC two hundred, DE DE is one sixty. C is 40, EF, EF is 180 mm. Now this is the diagram they are given. Now first consider the diagram. First I will consider the scale here. Consider the scale. Consider the scale 1 cm is equal to 30 mm. I will consider here. First AB and the angle they are given it here 75. 75 degree. First, I'll draw the diagram as per the scale. Draw first a reference line. Next, this is the A point. Seventy-five degree. They have said it. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Now, what is AB? AB is nothing but what? 60 mm. 60 mm divided by 30, you can do it. It is nothing but 2 centimeter. Now draw the 2 centimeter here. 2 centimeter. Here. Sorry, it is 2 centimeter. Two centimeter. This is your B. This is A. A. And next is about AD is two hundred mm. AD is two hundred mm. Divided by thirty, you can do it. The answer for this one is six point six seven centimeter. Six point six seven centimeter. 6.6 cm This is D D Next is about CE but we have to find out before cutting the arc of CE first find out DE What is DE? DE is nothing but 160. This is 160. We require this length. CD. You have to minus because this is 40. This is 40, and the total length of this one is nothing but 160. We required this length. Which is unknown for us. Yes, you, you have to do 160 minus 40. You will get what? DE. D. So the DC is nothing but DE minus EC. 160 minus 40, 120. The 120 divided by 30 is nothing but. 120 divided by 30 is nothing but 4 centimeter. 4 centimeter. I take the arc of 4 centimeter here. Take the arc of 4 centimeter. Four centimeter from the D. Now, what is the length of BC? BC is 200 mm. That is, 200 mm is the thing, but 200 divided by 30 is the thing, but 
join the lines. This is C. B C is nothing but two hundred divided by thirty, six point six seven centimeter. We have drawn it. Next, we have said it eighty. Eighty mm line has to be drawn from the D. Eighty is nothing but eighty divided by thirty is nothing but two point six seven centimeter. Two point six seven centimeter from this. Take as a this line is a reference line. Two point six, two point six, two point six. Two point six. Two point six. As a reference line, draw it in this way. Now, still, we have to draw the line CE. What is the length of CE? Forty. CE is forty. Forty divided by thirty is nothing but. What did you do by thirty? One point three three. From this direction, you have to take one point three three. From C to E, it is one point three. One point three three. Or you can add it this one. 1.33123 okay hope so it will be here okay 1.33 this is e what about e f this is f here e f is 180 e f 180 divided by 30 is nothing but 6 cm at an arc of 6 cm Arc of six centimeter here. In this direction, at an arc of six centimeter. Dry line from this part. And here will be the piston. This is F, where force acting in this direction, the piston, which is given as per the diagram, is the force. P is nothing but 100 newton. P is nothing but 100 newton. And this is 80 as per the diagram. Now we have to find out the torque. First, name the fixed fixed links. This is a fixed link one, one, and this is also a fixed link one. Second two, three. This link is four. This is five, and the piston will be six. Go for forces. The angle is seventy-five. Go for forces. Force one two. Here the force two three means two pushes the link three. Here force three four. Three four. Here the force F four five, and here the force F five six, and the fixed one is F one six. F one six. Now we have to draw the free body diagram. Free body diagram. We have to draw it. But we have to start from this part. Free body diagram. We have to start from this part. Because this is no. Otherwise, you can start from this part also. No problem. Okay, no problem. Okay, I will start from this part. First is seventy-five. Free body diagram I am constructing here. What is 
the length here but I know that this link we don't know the here because it is a hinge part it is in this way hinge part we don't know where the force act but when we know that this link this link going to push this link just I will draw a line here I will draw a line but I don't know the force and the direction of this one and this is unknown for us next I will consider the link this is AB next I will consider this link BC consider the link BC exactly parallel I will draw it exactly parallel or you can skip the part this part can be skipped if you know how to do in a proper way here here I will extend this part with a different color but we don't know the direction here we know that this link going to push here we know that this link going to push here in this way we are going to push in this way just I am drawing a line here that's it we don't know whether it will push in this way or in this way or in this way just I am drawing the line next I will consider the free bird diagram or the link here this link I will consider here The length is just measure with the upper protector. I know simultaneously measure the top portion also. Top portion measure it in order to draw the link. Okay, now this link we are going to push this link but we don't know the direction. One more this link will be in this direction connected to in this link and this is unknown for me. This is for unknown for me. Unknown for me. Next, I will consider the piston here, which plays an important part for us. Exactly parallel. I will move it. I will construct a box here. This box is nothing but piston here. Now I know there is a force act on this piston in this direction. This is P is equal to 100 Newton. This is a link. This link is going to push the piston. I will draw a link here. Exactly parallel to this one, I will draw a link. Okay, let me know. Next, piston always. If you draw, if you want to draw the piston, the piston there is a law. You have to draw a line perpendicular to this force. Every time you have to draw the perpendicular to this force. This is the law of the piston. While drawing the static force equilibrium condition, just draw a line parallel to this. Parallel to this one. This is now. Go for the naming. This will be link F12. This is link for F. 
two three. We don't know here what is the name of this one. Now this one is nothing but f three four. Here the reaction we are going to find out. Or here f three four again it is f three four. Now here f four five, and here f five six, f one six. F16. Okay, and this one is known. Now, this is known for us. I will consider the scale here. Yes, scale. One centimeter is equal to for hundred. I am considering the scale. Twenty newton. Twenty newton. For twenty newton, hundred divided by twenty, it will be five. Hundred divided by twenty is nothing but five centimeter. I will draw a line of five centimeter here. I will draw a line of five centimeter, exactly parallel to this one. I will draw a line of five centimeter. Five centimeter. The direction is known in this way because the direction is known. Now, exactly parallel. I will draw a line here of unknown length. Of unknown length from this point. I don't know the length, and exactly parallel to this one, I will draw a length at this part. As per the force polygon, if the arrow is this direction, the next arrow will be in this way, and next arrow will be in this way. Then the force which we have to represent is F five six and F one six. Now you have to measure the value of F five six. If you measure it, the value of five six will be five point six. Five point six, you can take it, or five point seven, you can consider. Five point seven into twenty. The answer for this one is five point seven into twenty. One one four. One one four newton, or you can consider five point six. One one four newton. Now, now the for balancing everything we have to balance. We know that arrow for this one indicated downward. Place the arrow downward. Now it is upward, upward. We are only focusing on this force. Now, if the arrow is in this direction, oh one more link I have missed it here. This link you have to draw. One more for you to draw a diagram of this link. Consider the link here. Six centimeter it is. It is already six centimeter. Now for the the link five, this is link two, link three, link four. We have done it. Link five. This is link five. Now force act here. Just draw a line here. This part, we have to balance this link. If this force act in this way, the next force act will be in opposite direction. That is five six five. You have to write it in the reverse direction. We are going to balance this one. Which force act? Oh, force which act here? Four five. You have to show F four five in the reverse direction. Now the both are balanced. That means F four five is equal to F. Six five, yes, F six five. Now, after knowing this one, we know that the force act in this direction. That this force will be act in the opposite direction. Now, the naming of this one is nothing but F five four, F five four. But we don't know this one now. Now, how to find out this one? Plays an important role. How to find this one? Plays an important role. Now, I will draw the same diagram as it is, or you can extend this one. No need to draw the line diagram. Just extend this one. 
by using the line of action of by using the line of action line of action of uh, force a dotted line has to be shown next the resultant can be obtained by drawing a dotted line this is link f14 and this will be link f34 now this is known what is the value for this one is because f45 is nothing but f65 is nothing but f54 the value is 114 newton 114 newton now i mean again i am considering the scale for this part 1 cm is equal to 20 newton i know this part 114 now 114 divided by 20 is nothing but 114 divided by 20 is nothing but 5.7 newton i will draw a line exactly parallel to this one exactly parallel to this one here i will draw it that is 5.7 this is the 5.7 5 6 7 5.7 i have drawn it i know this is the arrow upward direction because it is indicated upward direction next i know that this link i will consider this link and i will start from this arrow but i don't know the length i next i will consider this link the end of this one i will draw the arrow now as per the force polygon if the arrow is this direction next arrow will be in this way and next arrow will be in this way and this, the name of this link will be what f34 f34 and the name of name of the this link will be f14 now what is the value of 34 measure it seven point seven point the value for this one is seven point five 7.5 7.5 into 20 is 7.5 into 20 is 150 newton 150 newton 150 newton that's the value we obtained it this one we doesn't require if you want to measure it you can measure it now the direction for this one is f34 in this direction yeah in this direction f34 is in this direction now f34 f now the force will be now here changes if 34 acts here this become what f43 f43 if the arrow is in this direction next arrow will be in opposite direction in order to balance this one the next will be in this direction whatever the force act is f 2 3 act here f 2 3 will act in this direction in order to balance this direction the reaction will be f 3 2 in this direction opposite direction in order to balance this force draw a line exactly parallel to here here arrow should be opposite to here that is f 1 2 next draw a dotted line or a line and draw perpendicular to this line perpendicular to this line now h will be what h will be 1 point sorry 1.6 h is 1.6 it is now rotating in clockwise direction sorry anti clockwise require a torque in clockwise direction how to find out the torque t is nothing but f32 into h what is 
थ्री टू इज नथिंग बट यफ थ्री टू इज नथिंग बट यफ थ्री फोर यफ फोर थ्री यफ टू थ्री इज नथिंग बट यफ टू थ्री ना वॉट इज यफ थ्री टू यफ थ्री टू इज वन फिफ्टी इन टू वन पॉइंट सिक्स द आंसर फॉर दिस वन इज इन टू वन पॉइंट सिक्स वन फिफ्टी इंटू वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू स्केल यू टू डू वट इज द स्केल यू कंसिडर यर थर्टी इंटू थर्टी डू इट यू विल गेट द आंसर आंसर एज सेवन टू जीरो जीरो न्यूटन एम एम डिवाइड बाय थाउजेंड यू विल गेट आंसर सेवन टू डबल जीरो न्यूटन एम एम यू हैव टू डिवाइड बाय थाउजेंड You will get seven point two newton meter. Newton meter in clockwise direction. I am Santosh Gadankar. Thank you very much.